Alright guys, how to make yeast water. This is when I got started. I'm working on a vlog for an event I got uh, in progress. It'll be on August 24th is the date of the event. By the time I'm done editing, probably around September 1st. But I wanted to make a video on this for you guys. This is making a yeast water. So this is a very small scale yeast water. It's only 50 grams of apples to 800 milliliters of water. Something that's good for what I'm doing. And yes, the more fruit you use, the more yeast you'll have. But also certain fruits have different amounts of yeast on them. I like this amount of apple with this amount of water for my business. I don't like using sugar or anything like that. I want it as natural as possible. But I'm going to show you that there are other options as well. So I cut off 50, 50 grams of this red delicious apple. And I'm going to just go ahead and put the rest in there. drop it all in my mason jar just to be safe I'm gonna save the, uh, the stem here you can throw it in though doesn't make much of a difference I'm also going to throw in a pack of raisins. This comes to about 40 grams. It says 43 grams on the thing. Um, it says it's good until December 10th, 2023. At the pizzeria, somebody accidentally, we got a case of these packs of raisins. I probably got 50 pounds of raisins in my pantry. So, um, yeah, trying to make use of them. I'm going to throw these 40 grams or try my best. Get those raisins in there. And I'm going to fill the rest with uh, water. So this is about the other 250 milliliters from the other yeast water I just made. And I'm using spring water. I'm not going to use tap water for this. I might use tap water for the dough, but not for my culture. This is very similar to a sourdough starter, as a sourdough starter collects the wild yeast from the wheat and uh, it's submerged in water and ferments. This doesn't require, it does require feeding actually if you want to maintain one fruit starter. What you would do is after about two weeks of having it, you would, um, you could add sugar or more fruit or something of that nature. So once you get the water in there and all your fruit in there. Give it a nice shake. And what you're going to do is for anywhere from four, three to five days, once you see a foam head, it's ready, a good foam head, maybe give it another 12 hours and see if the foam head increased or decreased. Um, but yeah, you could just do five days. That's a good middle ground for yeast water. What you're going to do is once every 12 hours or twice a day, Basically, when you wake up and before you go to bed, you're going to open it, you're going to let some air out, you're going to close it tightly and shake it. And you can actually loosen your yeast water a little bit just so you don't have to kill it to open it again later. And there you have it, so in five days you'll have a nice foam head after you shake it, you'll realize that. And so what you're going to do after five days, it's going to be ready to use for your dough. You're going to want to strain out the fruit, so get a sieve, pour the water into another jar, and you can discard the fruit, or you can eat it, it does taste pretty good. It loses some of the flavor to the water, actually. Um, and then you're going to, in the jar that has all the water, you're going to put it in the fridge, it's good for about... I think a month is like a cap, um, but honestly, it's really good for up to two weeks. You could refresh it every two weeks with a little bit of sugar and maybe another slice of apple, 
or whatever you feel. Like the weaker the refreshment, the weaker it'll be refreshed. Stronger the refreshment, the stronger it'll be refreshed. For my business, I just remake the fruit yeast so everything is consistent. Um, but yeah, this is how you get it started. And as I said, I'm working on a video for an event I have coming up on the 24th. So you'll kind of see a way to, uh, to use this. And I can also make a video of making 11 with this water, which I basically would just mix some of the water once it's ready and fermented with flour. And it would act as almost a poolish or a sourdough starter or a leaven. And you can use that for your bread or for your pizza. So, have fun, guys.